a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra, and today we are talking about most interesting new ETFs. So the ETF industry continues to grow at a very impressive pace despite the continued market turbulence and more than 265 new ETFs have made their debut this year, uh, to taking the total number of US listed products to over 2950, though there have been some closers too. Uh, now, new ETFs are getting very interesting, very niche areas focusing on a very narrow corner of the market or a very specialized strategy. And that is mainly because the easy ideas have already been taken. So new ETFs have to be something different. And some of the very noteworthy trends this year are some NTESG ETFs, and uh, there have been many single stock ETFs. And we will be talking about these NTESG ETFs uh, and single stock ETFs in the coming weeks uh, because we will see some more launches in these areas. Um, so I'll cover those. Now, because of these single stock ETF launches, 2022 is on track to be a record number of uh, ETF launches surpassing 2021 as well, which itself was a record year because when you have these single stock ETFs, there's no limit. There can be so many ETFs covering, each covering one single stock and there have been so many filings. We will see some more interesting single uh, stock ETF launches in the coming weeks. And as I mentioned, uh, we will cover those in another video. So today we are taking a look at three very interesting ETF launches that have made the uh, that have launched in the past few weeks and starting with the latest one. This just launched last week. It is K-pop and Courier Entertainment ETF. Ticker symbol is K-pop. Uh, and uh, this covers inter entertainment and interactive media stocks which are listed in South Korea. And we know that uh, South Korean music and in the entertainment industry is huge. Uh, the BTS band uh, is, is so big. It has millions of fans all over the world. They have millions of very hit singles. Uh, and the girl band uh, Blackpink is also huge. There are many uh, South Korean movies and um, TV shows uh, which are, have become very, very popular um, in the US and other countries. Uh, so the, this, the Korean entertainment industry is growing and this is the first ETF uh, to focus in the on the uh, uh, Korean industry. Uh, entertainment industry and this actually uses artificial intelligence algorithm uh, that uses natural language processing technologies and using uh, AI, it selects 30 stocks has an, uh, and has an expense ratio of 75 basis points. And it is very new, so hasn't gathered assets, uh, much assets so far. Now, to learn more about this ETF, you can go to the website uh, kpopetf.com and it uh, describes the strategy and what actually it holds. You can read more about that. So 30 stocks which are listed in the in South Korea and uh, in the entertainment industry. Uh, you can read more about the CDF. Now, the second one that I'm highlighting is uh, by Amplify, Amplify Natural Resources Dividend Income ETF. So this combines two very popular strategies of 2022. We know that dividend paying stocks are very popular this year and natural resources stocks are also very popular because natural resources stocks, they are seen as an inflation hedge and they have done very well this year and income paying stocks are also very popular. So this focuses on income paying stocks in the natural resources industry, follows uh, a dividend weighting scheme, has an expense ratio of 59 basis points. This launched a couple of weeks back, still very new, not much assets yet. 
And again, to learn more, you can actually go to the code page on sax.com and uh, you can read our articles, etc. And using the link, you can go to Amplify web page for the CDF and see what it holds. So you will get a lot of international exposure in the CDF. This is something which you should be aware of. Uh, just about 29% uh, exposure to the US and uh, Canada, Brazil, UK, China, Australia, Peru, those are the countries uh, which have a lot, lot of, uh, you know, natural resources industries. Uh, they get a lot of exposure in the CDF and uh, you will see these are the top holdings in the EDF, uh, Petroleo, Brazil, Euro is the top holding, then China Petroleum, Eco Petrol, Pioneer Natural Resources, Rio Tinto, Diamond Park, BHP, etc. Uh, oil and natural gas uh, is the biggest industry in terms of exposure, then metals and pine mining and chemicals, etc. Now, the next one that uh, I'm highlighting is uh, the oldest of the three. This uh, a few weeks back, this launched a few weeks back. Has it been very popular? Just about 7 million in assets so far in the past few weeks. Uh, it is actually the first ETF which focuses on breakfast commodities. And we know that agriculture and food ETFs have been popular this year because of the surge in food prices. And food price inflation was one of the biggest contributor, uh, contributors to surging inflations, particularly earlier this year. And uh, lately, in the past few weeks, uh, food prices have come down a little bit, particularly after the resumption of exports from Black Sea ports in Ukraine that uh, started after an agreement was reached between Ukraine, Russia and the UN uh, to allow uh, unblock Ukraine grain exports uh, from Black Sea ports. Now, this particular ETF uh, invests in a basket of corn, coffee, lean hogs, orange juice, sugar and wheat futures. So it holds futures on those commodities, 70 basis points expense ratio. Again, to learn more, you can go to the code page on sax.com and using the link, you can go to the external home page, uh, the direction web page for the CTF. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, this whole scorn, which uh, occupies more than 38% in the portfolio, and then wheat about 26%, 13% lean hogs, and then sugar, coffee, and orange juice are the other uh, futures are the other holdings in the CDF. Now, these are not investment recommendations. These are all very new, but I thought that stra these strategies are very interesting and we will cover more interesting new ETFs in the coming weeks. Check out sax.com slash promo for an interesting offer and also make sure to subscribe to our videos and I'll see you next week.